in in response to the uh, the video which uh, was recorded by Old Sinner, I don't know his um, uh, full name. Uh, there's uh, I just wanted to point out there's another tool in Accelerus Draw which allows you to do some of the drawing that you did a little bit uh, quicker and perhaps more more efficiently. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the approach that you took. Um, but there's this little tool uh, down the side, um, this this one here called the all-purpose drawing tool. Um, and in, in your approach, you started off by drawing benzene, um, or taking benzene from a, um, a, a template toolbar, um, and then clicking and then getting a five-membered ring and adding that, fusing the two together. Um, there is another approach using the all-purpose drawing tool, which is perhaps a little bit quicker. Uh, with the all-purpose tool, I can start um, the, the, well, the idea of the all-purpose drawing tool is to reduce the number of clicks that, that, you, that you need to make when drawing something. So with what I can do with the all-purpose tool is I can draw a, a, a single uh, bond like that. with It's got two carbons either end. Uh, and I can drag a ring out from that. So I can drag out a six-membered ring. And then I can drag out a five-membered ring. Uh, and then without clicking to change uh, to a different tool, I can go around and, and add the double bonds to that. And I can add the this the that bond up there for the the uh, the, the amine group. Um, one of the things I can't do with in draw 4.1 is is draw a bond off what draw considers to be the correct angle with the all-purpose tool. So at the moment it'll only let me draw a bond like that, and I, I think that's probably a bug um, which will get fixed. Uh, at, the, at that point I need to swap to the to the bond tool. But I can still do what I need to do. I was on uh, still on nitrogen there, so we really want that to be a carbon. So I'll change it back. Um, and then again, going back to the to the all-purpose tool, another thing I can do is is go around the structure and do shift click uh, to add the nitrogen the, the nitrogens in that we want to add. So I just go around and do that, and then um, that's floating toolbar is getting in the way. I'll just do the same up there. Uh, and then I can just type N, Shift and N off the keyboard, and I get the nitrogens everywhere we want it to be. Um, and one other thing that I noticed in, in your video was this bond wasn't ideally placed compared to the, um, the the structure that you were working from. And we can I don't know if you mentioned this or, or not. I, I don't recall, but we can we can change that. So I can um, if I get that bond selected first of all. And then um, I need to get the formatting toolbar to appear. Um, I think I need to be on the bond tool for this to happen. No, it's right click um, to get the right click menu. Then the formatting toolbar. And this this button um, is the one that we need, and we can change how that bond appears. It cycles through the the, the three display options for that double bond, and and then we, we've quite quickly got to the to the uh, the structure that you started off by drawing. I won't carry on and draw out the rest. That was just wanted to mention that this this all purpose drawing tool exists and I find it quite useful. Um, the nice thing about Accelerus Draw is it lets you draw things the way you want to draw them. Um, if you don't want to use the all purpose tool or plenty of other approaches, but we have spent uh, quite a bit of time um, trying to improve the the the, um, and simplify the drawing process by making the all-purpose drawing tool something that we've uh, uh, that makes that a little bit easier. Um, that's really what it's directed to: Im improving the uh, the usability features within the program and, and making you able to draw with with less clicks. Okay, uh, that's all I had to say. Thanks for listening.